uh, next thing that we will do after we complete a uh, route making is uh, suppose i need to add a few more waypoints let us keep editing this route so this i will save then once i save it i will just have to check this route i'll check this route and you can see there is an option route check is basically how you will um, check your route for all dangers so the values are going to be this one suppose i use global values then they are going to check it along uh, the values i had already imported if, if i will show you once again where i had input this values so i'll close this for the moment in the sailing mode under navigation under anti grounding there was a place where i had uh, input all the values that i had calculated so this values i can apply uh, for my route checking so i'll go back to planning mode and check so i'll use those values then i will just check click the check route so the ecdis does the calculation for me and it will give me what are all the issues that have uh, that have been found now if i go and click the waypoint and click the danger list it will give me the list of all dangers that the route check had shown so anything in red is basically something that uh, we should pay more attention attention to and waypoint 2 is having restricted areas and once you click this restricted uh, this uh, alert it will automatically show you which part of the leg that alert is supposed to happen so this is how you will check uh, your route and once you are okay with your route you will just click save so once you do this your route is basically uh, created and all editing for your uh, route you should have done before you do your uh, safety check next comes i believe that you got a good understanding of how to create a route and save it next comes the user charts in the same route i will uh, show you how to uh, how to input values suppose uh, this was my last uh, user chart that i was using since that user chart is loaded the whole thing is coming up so i will just close this one and load a new um, user chart for uh, this moment i'll just use it as test 1 1 save it then any addition to uh, which i need i can use a point a line a circle and area or a text these are the options that i am having and also if i want to display the name of that uh, on screen i can use the point here and it will i can also use a general description that is basically my mariner's note then i can use safe depth and dangerous so anything safe i will have options to use all these uh, five shades of six shades of color and if i use it as dangerous it automatically goes to red so suppose i want to put uh, a circle here and it is safe i'll just click the circle i have options for a highlighted one only uh, the box then dotted box and a dotted box with highlight so can i'll just use the dot dotted box uh, without highlight and i place a circle here then i can move it like this and i can adjust its diameter like this so uh, this is good enough for us when we are using uh, a danger uh, to showcase a danger or when you are going to put your abort point on your chart or if you are if you want to pass clear of a rig so suppose if this was a rig and i wanted to keep it i'll just have to input this value and i'll just 
uh, show you how safe looks if I click save and I click here to finish that uh, that circle has come up here again if I wanted to show it as a unsafe one a dangerous one I'll click it I'll keep it somewhere here again and I'll use the dangerous and uh, click here to finish you can see the red line has come up that means it is a dangerous one and anything that you uh, use on the user chat as dangerous will come up as an alert uh, on your look at function uh, along with the navtex if navtex is a dangerous message then uh, you will get a warning uh, or an alert again uh, a user chat if it is marked as dangerous you will get uh, an alert on your view alerts so i am not going to save this uh, user chat i'll just close this and i will root also i am going to delete this uh, root because this was a test root i'll just go back to delete and test 11 was the root name test 11 oh, sorry test 1 so i'll uh, delete this root so uh, everything has gone from my screen now the one i was using i'll just load it back the root i was using was neurosis to hypha and the user chat i was using was neurosis to hypha again so i'll just uh, close this screen for the moment next comes uh, my chart loader chart loader has an option for install and uh, report and inventory these three things i had shown you how you can use it next comes the settings uh, sorry uh, chart one chart one is basically uh, a requirement for as per IMO uh, to show you your uh, display properties so this these lines and these shades should be visible uh, to you in the required settings next comes the navtex again as I told you before uh, the navtex automatically gets transferred to this like this and I can have an option to either use a filter to uh, select which messages I want to select or I can delete or uh, delete duplicates or delete a selected one next comes view alerts then comes the integrator profiles i am not going to discuss more on profiles because uh, we are not create we have not created any different profile for the whole uh, egdis so we are using uh, the egdis on a single profile next comes the integrator integrator you will have chart browser ordering new charts navigation mode file manager file manager is something that is uh, required for us as a second mate so next file manager as soon as i go to file manager i will have these many options so suppose i want to transfer a root from my exdis to a pen drive first thing is i will have to plug in an uh, usb i have already plugged in a usb then i will click browse and that usb i'll just select now if i want to transfer suppose uh, this route from my exdisk to the usb i'll just select it and just click this uh, icon so i'll have an option the root name will come up then the format which format i want this route to be transferred to transferred in so for the moment let's just uh, carry on with dot cb and as soon as i click this this root gets transferred again root in the form of text this is basically useful if you are using uh, the root for uh, requesting charts over your digital catalog then the marks any marks that i had made if i want to transfer i can just directly transfer it here then the user charts whichever user charts i want 
I could have transferred. Uh, I wanted I could have transferred like this. Reports watch handover logs screenshots. Screenshots uh, are important because in this exist you will have to use replay mode to find uh, to show the PAC that you had done uh, LOPs. So it is better to take a screenshot. I'll show you how uh, LOP is plotted here. And again, if I wanted to uh, transfer a file from the USB back to here, I'll just have to click this button and I'll just have to click uh, this icon. So as soon as I click, this file gets transferred here. I'm not going to do it because it's going to be a copy of a copy. So once I finish this, I'll just click exit. As soon as I click exit, my USB is ready for removal. So this is how you use the integrator and uh, option options for transferring your uh, files from this to USB and back forth. Next, an important thing you need to uh, you, you need to keep doing on your Ectis is manual plotting of question or LOPs. So for that you can use uh, LOPs. There are options uh, for that. You will just have to click right click on your vessel. As soon as you right click, you will have an option plot LOPs. Before you click the plot LOP, you have to change the calculate fix. So I uh, I have kept it as two LOPs have to be available for a fix to be made. So if I want it to be three, then fix will be uh, plotted only after three LOPs are made. So let's keep it as two. For the moment, I am having uh, a range and bearing from uh, this breakwater. So I'll go to that breakwater. You can see the breakwater here. You can see the breakwater here. This is the entrance to Haifa. So let us use this uh, to calculate our position fix. So I will just take the range and bearing from my radar. Let me just check the values and come back. So to plot my LOP, I will just right click on my vessel. Sorry, uh, right click on my vessel, plot an LOP and since I am going to use it as a bearing and distance LOP uh, you can see this counter this counter keeps running uh, this is useful when your uh, vessel is in transit so that your uh, range and bearing will uh, will not be affected uh, by the time for the uh, time difference from your taking bearing to coming and plotting it on the uh, like this so under the bearing my current bearing is 163.9 163.9 and distance is 3.98 there is no option for 3.988 so I will just input as 3.99 and I have an option for visual visual you can use uh, for two bearings so suppose you are going to take two be uh, bearing maybe a bearing of a light uh, lighthouse uh, two uh, bearings of lighthouse you will just have to input visual and only put first bearing then again you will have to uh, plot a second LOP and again you will have to just input your bearing so once you have two bearings automatically the uh, fix will be calculated because you have uh, told the ECDIS to plot fix once there are two LOPs available so for the moment it is going to be a radar and there is an option for celestial fix also uh, so if you are using your uh, still using your uh, section you can plot your position with celestial fix so uh, i'll plot a fix uh, with the, for the radar i'll just confirm uh, the uh, bearings bearing is 163 decimal 9 and uh, distance is 3 decimal 9 9 so I will be using radar and I will just use plot as soon as I click this plot button 
रेंज एंड बियरिंग लाइन हेज कम फ्रॉम रेंज एंड बियरिंग हेज कम सो आई लाइक टू एडजस्ट इट टू कीप इट ऑन टॉप ऑफ द ब्रेक वॉटर्स so this is my break water i'll just click, uh, keep it there and it will highlight uh, for 2 seconds or 3 seconds and once it is done a position fix might have come up on um, near my vessel so you can see a position fix has come up so this was the position fix using uh, radar range and bearing and uh, the distance discrepancy between my gps and my visual position fix will also come up uh, it just went uh, i forgot to show you how it look like so uh, you can see that uh, this fix has come up uh, it was showing uh, 152 meters as uh, the difference in uh gps and uh, visual fix so as soon as i make this fix i'll just right click and save a screenshot so this screenshot will help help me prove that i had taken a fix once the ps is on board otherwise you will have to go click and try, use the track records this is a bit uh, time consuming so better we will use this uh, screenshots and the screenshots you can go back go to file manager under screenshots on your current date today was 2nd of february 2025 you will be able to see that file and just transfer this file again browse and transfer this file so this file is ready for you to uh, take a uh, for you so that you can take a printout and keep it so this is how you uh, use an lop for position fixing I believe that I have basically covered almost all uh, things that are on concern with this Ectis uh, E-Globe G2. Thank you for watching. We'll meet you on the next video.